Shalom, Yasharala. I'm going to start out by giving infinite honors to Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai. That's the name of our Heavenly Father, our great power, who the world in England calls God, and our great King, who the world in England calls Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone from Elder to Home Down, who the Most High has poured his spirit on to teach the, the hopeful elect, uh, what well, the precious elect, Salakia, the truth of the scriptures for them to go and push sound doctrine to the ends of the earth and the real end, the uh, elect men that were uh, predestined before a time to uh, be the government uh, elite of the kingdom of heaven, that 144,000 and that one third. And uh, I wanna give salutation, honor and greetings to you sincere brothers, uh, pushing this truth, the, pre the elect men pushing this truth with all fear, trembling, and sincerity, and not uh, pushing this truth grudgingly, all right? But doing it, but doing it um, as the scriptures call it, a labor of love, doing it uh, willfully, with all fear and trembling, man. All right, so um, I'm gonna do this sit down about you brothers that are striving for perfection to be, uh, in their elect number. You hope for elect brothers, man. Um, we're in the last days. Like I say, uh, in damn near every um, sit down I do, and you got these um, dildo head, born head, um, baboon head Christians coming up to, to camps week in and week out with that uh, rhetoric that, 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 like Elder Tahar calls it, that plantation doctrine. So um, every Christian that comes up uh, is is not the same. You do have some Christians that come up that read their Bibles. That uh, although they they come with the plantation doctrine, they read their Bibles. They ask intelligent questions. What 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 um a person of wisdom would deem an intelligent question. I mean, some people when they ask a question, you you. They know you. You can tell that they at least read their Bible. You know what I'm saying? They they call themselves studying the scriptures, although they study long and wrong. They read their Bibles. So you, as a man of the Lord, man, we have to be swordsmen. We have to be able to rightly divide the word of truth to uh, reel in the elect. Because if you have onlookers looking, and you calling yourself a professional, a prophet, don't nobody want to see you uh stuttering. And uh, winging it, man. People want to see you bringing out these scriptures, man, and knowing what you're talking about. If you go to a cardiologist, he's talking about giving you open heart surgery, and you ask him some questions, you don't want to see that motherfucker stuttering. You know what I'm saying? You want him to give you the straight skin, and you want him to know what he's talking about. Well, that's how you got to be in these truths in these last days, man. You got to study to show thyself approved and rightly divide these scriptures, you know? And not just to contend for the faith, but to bring in uh, the most high's elect, man. When our great king said, I will make you fishers of men, man, the, this word is the net, okay? So I'm gonna start off in, um, I'm gonna start off in 2 Timothy, okay? This is 2 Timothy 3. I'm going to start at verse 15. I'm going to start at verse 14. All right. 2 Timothy 3 and 14. But continue in the things which thou hast learned. What you have learned, you have to continue them and you have to teach them. All right. You have to be able to break down the virgin birth because our people believe in um, immaculate conception. You have to break down uh, Genesis, the sixth chapter, about uh, angels not defiling themselves with women, all right? Because our people believe that an uh, angelic host came down here and had sex with women. You have to re be able to rightfully divide these scriptures. You have to be able to break down salvation isn't for, for everybody, all right? We had the best teachers, man, all right? We have the best teachers. We have the teachers that have sound doctrine, okay? Which are the uh, Salakia? It's been assured of knowing whom thou hast learned them. We have learned from the best. We have learned from Elder Gabar, Elder, Elder Tahar, Elder Ariyamla. Men of old, man. Those are the men of old, man. The heads of Israel, man. The elders of Israel. All right? 
The most I have given them the spirit to dissect these scriptures accurately. With pinpoint accurately, surgically. Okay? And what they what they have what the most high has given them, they has give they have given to us freely. Okay? And they've given it to us not to put under a bed, all right, not to dig in a hole, but to let thy light shine and, t and, and go to the ends of the earth and be a light to the Gentiles. So salvation can come to the elect of Yasharala. Okay? And that from a child, thou has known the Holy Scriptures. If you know the Holy Scriptures, you know sound doctrine. If a dildo head Christian come up against you, you can kill you, whatever topic he, he I'm, I don't care whatever topic he comes up with. You're supposed to be able to dissect and, and, and ginsu shank a fucking Christian. And I'm talking about 60 seconds, bro. Yes, you have different Israelite sects that are uh, studied, you know, but they have an off doctrine, you know, and you're you going to have to uh, knock their asses off too. It's easy when the Most High, when you study and come to the Most High in truth and sincerity. But when a, when it gets to the point of fucking Christian come up and debate with you, man, they are easy, man. That that seminary plantation doctrine, bro, should be easy to dismantle. Okay, but you're not going to be able to dismantle unless you read these words and study these words. Uh, Revelation 1 and 3 say, blessed is he that readeth. All right, you have to put in the time and study, man. Get up under your older brother, your elder brothers, and ask them to teach the breakdowns, man. Go on all these videos on YouTube. Like, um, like you know, a lot of our brothers work, but that's our lot when a younger brother calls and they have a question, you break it down. But shoot, well, my, my brother used to be at work. Man, I get on there and look on, get on Daily Motion and pull up um, Elder Tahar, Elder Gabar, them old videos. When they broke down every book in Hebrews, they broke down every book in Corinthians. Them, them books are out there, man. When they broke down every chapter, not every book, every chapter, every chapter in the book of Revelation. They out there, man. All right? which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through the faith, which is in Yahweh Shad anointed. All right. And, the, and that's how our, the elect is going to get salvation by pushing his truth. All right. By teaching Israel the truth of the scriptures. All scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh. So from Genesis to Revelation, man, that's your battle axe, man. Okay. That's your weapons of war. Because this is spiritual war, man. We're tearing down strongholds with sound doctrine. We're breaking yokes with, strong, with sound doctrine. We're taking down this white man's infrastructure spiritually with sound doctrine. This, this doctrine is a cancer to this society. This, got, this doctrine is Ebola to this white man's power structure. Okay? Because the white man, man, I'm going to tell you. He's a he's a psychoanalyst. All right. He he works on your mind. OK. Yes. He used the sword to subdue you. But once once he gets you uh, has chains and shit on you, he's working on your mind. He's a head doctor, man. So the most I told us through his word uh, and, and, rev, and, and oh, I'm going to get that scripture. Let me break this down first. All scripture is profitable for doctrine. All right, sound doctrine is, is what frees us. Side doctrine is what renews our minds. All right, Psalms 119 and 9 says, How shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed to the word of Yahweh by Shema Shai. All right, Ephesians 5 says the same thing. Yahweh Shai uh, cleansed the church through the washing of water by the word, man. Okay, for reproof. All right, you have to reprove, brothers. All right, when brothers come in, we're babies. We're babies. You have to reproof a baby. For correction, you have to correct a baby. For instruction in righteousness, you have to teach an adolescent how to, uh, what to do and what not to do, what to eat and what not to eat, what's poisonous and what's good for you. All right? So for you to do that, you have to have learned yourself, okay? that the man of the most high may be perfect, 
All right. This word is perfecting us. Romans 8 and 1 said there's no condemnation for those that are in Yahweh's shot. This word is a perfecting agent. All right. The most high is raising up spiritual juggernauts, perfect men. The scripture called Job upright and perfect, man. That means Job had this word in him, man. Truly furnished into all good works. And what are the good works? Teaching this word. How dare you go teach this word and somebody come ask you a question and you can't break it down accurately with the scriptures. We, we like, like Elder Tahar said, I hate to see it. Even if it, it comes to something I don't understand, I go to my older elder brothers, man. I go up to totem pole. I've had, um, I've been in debates with them, um, them, them Old Testament Israelites. And one time a fucking, uh, he asked me a question that had me scratching my motherfucking head, man. They had an Old Testament Israelite had asked me a question that had me scratching my head and it was above my pay grade. But I, I loved it. I loved it. That's, that's, what, that's the type of stuff turns me on, bro. And I went to my older brothers. And when I went to my older brothers, you know, it was, e it was an easy thing for them. It was, it was easy and they broke it down with grace. So you never want to be confounded with somebody with an off doctrine, you know? You study to show that self approved. This is our lot, man. This is our lot, man. Playing basketball is Michael Jordan lot. He got his corruptible crown. Michael Jordan loved playing basketball. I love swimming in his scriptures, bro. I love our customs, our culture, our way of life, man. I've been around niggas my whole fucking life. To get around brothers where you just feel uh, agape love, man, sincerity. You can lay your wallet down. Don't have to worry about it getting stolen. You know, you 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 know, you don't have to worry about your brother eyeballing your woman. You know, this this, this thing of ours is beautiful. I'm getting a little bit off topic, but when you get this doctrine in these scriptures, man, it's beautiful. All right, we go to Romans. Okay. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, all right? This world doctrine is um, doctrines of devils in his last days and times will have our people in a derision, according to 1 Timothy 4 and 1. All right, and that's the doc that, that plantation doctrine. It's a doctrine of death, okay? And our people have conformed to it. So you got to be able to dismantle it with grace, with, with, with accurate precision, surgically, all right, to bring Israel back to Yahabah uh, Shema Shai, casting out that net. Fishing is a skill. You just can't get a real rod, throw it out there and think you're going to catch a fish, you know. The professionals, man, they, they, they teach you, they, when you, when you are um, with a guy that really can fish, man, he, he teaches you how to use a jig, use different baits, you know, tell you uh, what parts to, to fish on the bank with certain uh, bait. When you want to go out in deep waters, what to use. It's a skill, man. All right. And, and, it's, and, and a mockingbird is not a good teacher. When you hear a brother say something, stuff become repetitive. That's not a good teacher, man. When you just uh, being a mockingbird. Studying and learning something. Like when you have a, a motherfucking gun, a Desert Eagle, all right? That's a decent gun, you know? It don't jam, but you gotta take care of that gun. Just having that gun, putting bullets in, shooting that motherfucker, over time, it, it, it needs to be clean. It needs to be tend to. It, it needs to be broken down, man. Refurbish. If you just got it putting bullets in it, shooting it all day, it's going to get rust. It's going to get fucked down. It's going to get broke. It's going to get it's going to uh, get broken down. You so just to have a gun is not good enough. You know, you have to have a skill of breaking it down, oiling it, lubing it, checking the firing pins, making sure it's in good shape. All right. That's how it is with with fishing. When you when you're teaching this word, man, you got to know that don't just get a precept to bring out a precept, you gotta know that whole chapter. Yeah, even though sometimes, you know, most of the time when you bring out a precept, 
the whole chapter might not have nothing to do with the topic, but don't just know the precept. But then when somebody, if somebody was to ask you about that chapter, you don't know how to break that chapter down, man. We, we, we are professionals. We are striving for perfection, man. Okay. And these are things I had to learn in my walk. You know, I'm not being over-righteous. You know, being a mockingbird, just you hear the elders say something, so you go out and say it. Man, when the elders, you hear the elders say something about Rome, just don't repeat what they say about Rome. Go read up on everything about Roman history, the government infrastructure, okay? About the different emperors, about the Western Front, the Eastern Front, when they split up. About the Byzantine Empire, the Holy Roman Empire, all right? Read, study about uh, Roman civilization, man. Okay? The class is in Rome. All right? All that has to do, all that gets synchronized with the scriptures. Every cap, you know? Don't just be a mockingbird just hearing somebody else say it, and then you get on the highways and, and, and say it, and then a fucking history professor from one of these fucking um, universities um, in this fucking godforsaken nation come up and, and, and engage in a debate with you and then he know what the fuck he talking about and all you doing is just repeating what you heard somebody say and he asks you a, a civilized intelligent question and you look stupid on, on the camera now you want to cut out the video you want to go do damage control on the video nah man fuck that man strive for perfection man in this thing I was man know what the fuck you talking about don't get, we don't, that wing it, remix and shit. Nah, man. And then be a man. If you don't know something, say you don't know. That's what I do. Straight up and down. I'm going to say I don't know. That's what I've learned since I've been in this truth. I ain't winging shit. If you don't know, say you don't know. Straight up and down. Okay? But certain things you should know. When it comes to a Christian, you should be an annihilated Christian. Straight up and down. All right? that you may prove what is good. All right, sound doctrine is good. Tearing down um, off doctrine is good. You have to be able to prove when somebody come up there with a, a off doctrine or breaking down the scripture good, you gotta be able to divide, rightly divide it. Show them the, the good way. If somebody believe in something off, you gotta show them the good way. As uh, Jeremiah 6, um, the old path, Jeremiah 6 states, and acceptable and perfect will of the most high. And that's that's sound doctrine, okay? You have to be able to do these things, man. Let me get another scripture. Oh. And the most high, man, he's lifting up that standard. He he's he he's being dramatic, man. All right. He he's he's um in these last days, when you look at these different camps, he's showing who has this truth and who it, and who's his men. All right, he he's showing the ones that that um he he like they say he's letting the rubber meet the highway. He's orchestrating events and scenarios where you can see who's bullshitting and who's getting it in, man. Yes, he's doing it. That's why it's time to go full throttle and be locked into this thing, man. All right. This is uh, Isaiah 30 and 20. And the Howard give you the bread of adversity. We're in this fire, in this fire, this flame, this hell. All right. We're in this tribulation. We've been tested day in and day out in, in, in hell. And the water of affliction. We've been afflicted in this fucking cesspool, man. We sign and crying for every, uh, these wicked abominations going on round about us. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed in the corner anymore. All right? The Most High is uh, magnifying and glorifying the elders of Great Millstone, man. He's showing that though they are the ones that have sound doctrine. The scriptures say, how beautiful are the feet of those that bring forth good tidings. All right? He's showing that those men have, that, that he's given those men the truth, that they are his chosen vessels to push this truth, man. Okay. And that they are rightly dividing the scriptures to bring Yasharala back to him. 
but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. So when you see your teacher out there, and he's out there teaching, man, you don't want to see nobody shucking and jiving. You don't want to see nobody that can't answer a, a scripture with, with grace. Because, let me get this scripture. This is, uh, this is 2 John 9, I need 1 John, it's a lot here. Need 1 John 2, verse 19. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to start at verse 20. This is it, verse 20. 1 John 2 and 20. But you have an auction of the Holy One, and you know all things. Yeah, we prophesy in part. It's certain things. Paul said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what the Most High have in store for us. So we prophesy in part. Our mortal minds can't fathom the things that the Most High have in store for His precious elect. In the, in the kingdom of heaven. So we prophesy in part. But when it comes to these scriptures, man, we know these scriptures, bro. Straight up and down. You, you How are you going to teach something and you don't know it? If you go to a psychology course in college and you go in there, your psychology professor, you raise your hand and ask a question and they tell you that they don't know. Or you you know a little bit about psycho psychology and you, ask, and you call yourself testing them and they can't answer the question. You're going to be like, man, what the fuck am I in this fucking classroom for, man? So you have an unction to know all things. The Most High have given us have the authority and poured out his spirit for us to know everything as it pertains to these scriptures, to break them down accurately. Because these, this is what sobers us up. These scriptures is our protection. Wisdom is our knowledge, is our protection. This teaches us how to move, all right? These, these scriptures teach us how to be uh, servants and inhabitants and citizens in the kingdom to come. All right? Get another scripture. This is uh, Big John. Go to verse 15. It's John 15 and 15. Henceforth, I call you not servants, but the servant know, for the servant knoweth not what the Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. Our great king, man, our brother. That's our brother. All right? He's giving us the game, man. He said, when I leave, I will send you a comforter. These scriptures are our comfort. For, for all things that I've heard of my father, I have made known unto you. So what, what did our heavenly father make known to him? These scriptures. How to rightly divide them and break it down, man. So with that being said, man, you have to um, study to show thyself approved to go on these highways, man. You have to you have to be able to break down this scripture with pinpoint accuracy, man. OK, this is what's going to bring uh, Israel back in. Not your gift of gab, you know, not your cunningly. Now, you use those character traits that the most high has given you and synchronize them with the scriptures so you could be a, a master fisherman to bring in Yasharala. But just speaking on your own accord, your own heart, nobody want to hear that shit. This word is what cuts the person. This word is what break you down, build you back up, all right? So you have to know this word. So you have to study to show thyself approved, man, and rightly divide these scriptures because these scriptures are not a private interpretation. So you got to get under a man that has this knowledge, wear out his doorstep, and learn of Yahweh by Shema Washat, okay? Use the Urim and the Thurman, this, this, this internet. Go find out these breakdowns, look at the brothers teach, and just eat daily. So you can go out there wherever you are, go to a camp near you, and, and, and cast out thy net. So with that, I'm going to give infinite honors to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to you sincere brothers pushing the truth across the four winds. Kwame Yasharala.